When you're developing in JavaScript, it can be helpful to debug your code at various points to see what's happening. Let's look at some ways you can examine the state of your JavaScript code. One of the main differences between debugging PHP and JavaScript is that PHP is a server-side language, so you can log messages to a file on the server. JavaScript, on the other hand, is a client-side language, so you can't easily log messages to a file in the same way. Fortunately, there are ways to examine the state of your JavaScript code using the browser's developer tools, specifically the console tab. Most modern browsers come with built-in developer tools that allow you to inspect and debug the elements of a web page. Depending on the browser you're using and the operating system you're on, you can usually open the developer tools by pressing specific keys like F12, Control shift i or Command option i If you're not sure how to open the developer tools in your browser, you can find handy instructions on the MDN WebDoc site under Guides, Common Questions, Tools and Setup, What are browser developer tools? Once you have developer tools open, switch to the Console tab, which is where any errors on the page are logged. It is also where you can log messages from your JavaScript code to help you debug it. The console object is what allows you to log messages to the browser's console. It has several methods you can use to log different types of messages. Here are a few of the most commonly used methods. The console log method is the most popular, as it can be used to log pretty much anything to the console. You can pass all sorts of data types to it, such as strings, numbers, arrays, or even objects. Here is an example of logging a simple string variable to the console. If you open Developer Tools and select the Console tab, the contents of the variable will be logged to the console. The console output also includes a link to the location of the code in the source file, which can be helpful for tracking down where the message was logged from. You can also log more complex data types, such as arrays or objects. When viewing this in the console, you'll see an array and object logged as expected. You're also able to expand the array or object and see its properties as well as any JavaScript methods that are available on that data type. There are a number of other methods that you can use to log messages to the console, such as console error, console warn, and console info. One of the most underused methods is console table, which logs an array or object as a table, making it easier to read. This is especially useful when you have an array of objects and you want to see the data in a more readable format. To read more about the browser's console object and its methods, make sure to visit the MDN Web Docs page. It contains a full list of all the console methods as well as useful examples.